Hi and good morning everyone. Welcome to today's market updates. My name is Edmund and today is a Friday 4th of September 2020. So let us have a look and see what is coming up for today's economic calendar. I think it's very obvious everyone will be focusing on tonight's uh, US non-farm employment change data and also the unemployment rates together with the average hourly, hourly earnings. So this uh, set of important data will be announced at 8.30 p.m. local Singapore and Malaysia time. And uh, well, towards the morning sessions for today and also the afternoon sessions, we just had some or we will be having some minor data. Um, Australia announced their retail sales, monthly retail sales data at 9.30 a.m. this morning. The numbers came in at 3.2%, just a tad below market expectations of 3.3%. So, is there any major impact on the Aussie dollar? Well, uh, marginally, I guess. Uh, it just uh, pushed up the Aussie dollar by about 23 pips. However, I think um, the Aussie dollar is uh, still on a bearish trend as the US dollar is on a bullish trend for the last uh, three days or so. Okay. So, um, so in other words, for me, um, no major impact from the Aussie dollar retail sales data this morning at 9.30 a.m. Okay, so this is uh, Aussie dollar. Okay, so moving towards the afternoon sessions, uh, we will be having German factory orders data at 2 p.m. And we will be having uh, the UK's uh, construction PMI numbers at uh, 4.30 p.m. So for the UK pound yesterday, it was uh, still um, on a bearish tone, moving down about 100 and, uh, 110 pips uh, throughout the morning and uh, UK trading sessions. And during the US trading sessions, um, it was just uh, consolidating within the 44 pip range. Okay. So, yeah. So let us have a look and see about uh, some relevant uh, sentiment and news. So, the US dollar again uh, traded in a mild bearish range after moving up for two consecutive days since Tuesday. So, over here, uh, we do see. The US dollar, by the way, yeah, these are the lines drawn like a few days ago. So the US dollar found support uh, at 91.76 levels on Tuesday. And on Tuesday itself at about uh, at about 9 p.m. Okay, 9 p.m. Malaysia and Singapore time. The US dollar strengthens and has been going up for on Tuesday and also on a Wednesday. And for yesterday, uh, we were looking for the US dollar to be uh, finding some resistance um, and we were watching uh, to see whether it can break through. True enough, it did strengthen a little bit more. Uh, this happened at about uh, well, at about 10 a.m. local Singapore and Malaysia time on a Thursday. So 10 a.m., uh, the US dollar strengthens again and towards uh, 10 plus 5, 15, 3 p.m., the US dollar weakens back. Okay, so looking at... Uh, the UK pound, just now we saw the US dollar strengthening at about 10 a.m. Uh, Malaysia and Singapore time. We do see um, we do see the UK pound um, weakening even as early as uh, 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. Okay, so from 1.3350 levels, um, the UK pound weakens um, throughout the Asian sessions and also the UK trading sessions going down about uh, 105 pips all the way down to 1.3245 levels. Okay, so yeah, then after uh, during the US trading sessions uh, at about 7 p.m., it just uh, moves up about 46 pips and then after uh, consolidates and as of this morning, uh, we do see the US dollar um, weakening marginally. Okay, it's actually very quiet still, not much uh, major movements. So uh, the UK pound is currently up about uh, 25 pips. Okay, so um. Yeah, so in terms of the economic data released yesterday, most of the um, most of the services PMI numbers for yesterday uh, came in marginally positive. And uh, for the Eurozone data, it was uh, coming in at 50.5, uh, beating market expectations of 50.1. And uh, only the UK data was uh, negative, uh, coming in at 58.8, lower than market ex expectations of 60.1. Uh, however, it was still better than the July reading of 56.5. And finally, for the US market, the numbers came in at 55 versus market forecast of 54.5. Um, and again, better than the 50 reading in the month of June. 
Um, initial U.S. Uh, unemployment claims came in uh, surprisingly better than market forecast, coming in at coming in at eight hundred eighty one thousand um, claims uh, being submitted, an improvement from one point zero one one million claims uh, for the previous week, and this uh, eight hundred eighty one thousand uh, figure was better than market forecast of nine hundred fifty five thousand. So that was the news. Uh, that was the result, and the theory is. Uh, as the numbers came in below market expectations, theoretically, the US dollar should be strengthening. However, we don't see the US dollar strengthening much as the data was being announced uh, yesterday at 8.30 p.m. around here. Uh, instead, we see throughout the whole day, the US dollar was uh, just consolidating and uh, consolidate, consolidating in a mild uh, bearish trend. Okay, uh, I would say that this is, the, this is due to the fact that the US dollar has already been strengthening for the two previous market days and yesterday was more of a consolidation day and the markets are waiting for tonight's uh, non-farm payrolls data to be announced at 8.30 p.m. and we should be watching for volumes, chart patterns and also price movement uh, as early as uh, 2 to 4 p.m. today and leading up to the 8.30 p.m. non-farm payrolls data so we should be watching all for the second cycle at about 7 to 8 p.m. onwards okay so yeah so that was the fundamental news so again technical wise um us dollar has been strengthening uh, after uh, breaking the bearish downtrend on tuesday breaking it over here and currently um is finding some resistance at these points okay so and support levels over here okay so uh, again uh throughout throughout tuesday until today the uk pound has weakened about from 1.3467 all the way to yesterday's low of 1.3247 moving down about 220 pips very nice trade and the key was getting in here early um on tuesday at 9 pm okay sell down 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 and down okay um for the euro dollar um it was a similar story yesterday we saw the euro dollar weakening from uh weakening from let's see it was here okay Yesterday, we saw the euro dollar weakening as early as uh, 7 a.m. also from 1.1854 all the way to a low 1.1788, moving down 65 pips. And then after um, at about uh, 3 p.m., it moves up from 1.1784 all the way to a high of 1.1859, going up 74 pips. Okay, Currently, it's still a bit quiet. Um, however, there's a chance that it can go slightly higher if we can break this resistance and the next target prices for the euro dollar let me just have a quick look okay yeah uh, yeah the resistance will be about here however if it does manage to break up the next target price will be at 1.1872 uh, sorry 76 which is about 25 pips to the upside and if the if the euro if the euro dollar does weaken uh, we are looking for it to come back down to 1.1822 levels, which is about 30 pips to the downside. For the UK pound, um, if there is strength to move up, uh, we could be looking at the immediate resistance of 1.3317, which is about uh, 30 pips to the upside. And if it does move down, we are looking at the immediate uh, support of 1.3251, which is about 37 pips to the downside. Okay. Um, yeah. Then uh, moving on to gold prices. Um, gold prices, uh, as we saw on the last few days also, it was uh, moving up and then after it was uh, finding resistance and on Tuesday again, um, it broke down from a high of 1,991 over here. Okay, And at 9 p.m. on Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, it came down and it has been going down for about 67 US dollars all the way. Okay, so. Uh, for yesterday's market, uh, at about 10 a.m., the gold prices moved down from 1,950 all the way to a low of 1,927, moving down about 22 US dollars um, before having some support during the UK trading sessions. And then after during the US uh, market sessions at about 10 a.m., 10 p.m. yesterday, uh, gold prices moved down again from 1,945 all the way to a low of 1,921. So as of this morning, uh, gold prices um, is, move, uh, is moving up uh, a little bit, but I would say it should, could still be in a, in a consolidation phase. Um, from 8 a.m. this morning, from 1,927 
to a high of 1942 gold prices has currently moved up about uh, 15 us dollars okay so this move up also was uh, after consolidating for a while and then after it's moving up okay so silver prices uh sorry yeah silver prices uh as you can see it is still uh largely on a bearish trend okay bearish trend and uh yeah it's tr it's trying to test this uh, bearish trend line now so uh if it doesn't break up it may come down to find support levels at this uh 26 dollars and 44 cents again so back to gold prices uh today's range i would say that uh there is still a tendency for it to go down so if it does push down uh we could be looking at uh support levels again of 1925 which is about 13 us dollars to the downside um if it does push up we are looking for immediate resistance at 1948 which is about uh, nine dollars to the upside okay oil prices yesterday uh drop again for the second consecutive day after dropping on a wednesday about uh, dropping about three to four percent and yesterday it dropped another three percent before recovering quite well to drop just about one percent okay so yeah oil prices so i guess uh technically oil prices is uh, on a slight bearish run now so um yeah slight bearish run okay so but it's still within the range of uh 40 dollars and also 43 dollars so um on the four hour charts it hasn't really um gone into a bearish uh, mode yet okay so last but not least s p 500 yesterday had a huge drop um i guess this is uh expected as uh the markets has been trending upwards for quite a number of uh, weeks now and uh, yesterday was a good uh, reason or a good, a good excuse to take profits off the table. And as early as uh, 11 plus 5, 16, 4 p.m. Malaysia and Singapore time, the S&P 500 along with uh, Nasdaq and uh, Dow Jones started to move down. Okay, So from 3,582 uh, dropped for one, two hours or so. Um, and then the key, the major during the US trading session was this one. 1500 plus 5 um, at about 8 p.m. Malaysia and Singapore time. It That was the conclusive drop all the way down. Okay, uh, Moving down about 124 points to 3427. So, yeah. So, currently it's finding support here. Yeah, finding support here. Okay. So, it should be uh, consolidating sideways, but the tendency is uh, well, possibly still slightly bearish. Um, again, uh, a lot of profit taking being done yesterday so never buy at the top and never sell at the bottom okay so um yeah let's watch out for tonight's uh, non-farm payrolls data uh we'll be having a, a live webinar session live market analysis session at about 8 p.m tonight uh if you want to find out more please uh, contact your account managers and i'll see you tonight for the 8 p.m live non-farm payrolls uh webinar have a good day take care and i'll see you soon